welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on some of the skincare products that I got from the Tula skincare line. So I haven't tried everything. There is, there are still more products that I'm like intrigued. I want to try, but I have tried a good variety. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video, let you guys know what my thoughts are before I get in. I want to let you know what my skincare or my skin type is. I am very, very dry. I am incredibly dry in my t-zone i have very very little oil in my face so a lot of the products that i'm looking for is to add hydration help with brightness and and even uh help with dullness that sort of thing i don't normally get acne if i do break out it's because of some kind of reaction in something in the product I don't really have an even skin tone. I do battle eye, dark eye circles and puffiness, but that's pretty much it. So those are the type of things with my skin. It's really the redness um, and dryness that causes the redness maybe. I don't know, it's just this never ending cycle of dryness and redness, but that is my skin type. So when I'm doing these products, that is what I'm going off of, of is what did it work for my skin type. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first product is the Super Calm Gentle Milk Cleanser. This, this retails for $34 at Ulta. And the reason why I picked this one up because it was supposed to, it says it removes your makeup and cleanses your skin without any harshness or irritation. Skin is left feeling soft and conditioned, never dry or tight. And that intrigued me because I do have dry skin. I was looking for something that didn't strip away whatever oil I did have on my skin and helped you know, take off my makeup. I went ahead and used this whole thing and it's completely gone. The problem I have with this is I felt like it was too gentle and not gentle because of the irritation, but it didn't really do a good job of taking off my makeup. To me, I felt like this is a great product if you're looking to double cleanse. Like I love the Colleen Rothschild um, balm, the cleansing balm, radiant cleansing balm. And a lot of times I will use that first and then use another product after it. This by itself just doesn't take your makeup off. So though it was great for the irritation and the redness and all that stuff, I just didn't feel, I felt like I had to use another product to take my makeup off. So I personally didn't like this. If you're somebody who doesn't wear makeup or doesn't wear a lot of makeup and you are just looking for a really good cleanser that just really hydrates your skin, doesn't strip it, but you're not really looking for like makeup. Like if it were the days where I don't wear makeup on the weekends and stuff like that, this would be awesome. But the reality is I wear makeup almost every day and it just didn't take it off the way that it didn't clean it the way that I needed it to be clean and really get into the pores and get all the gook out of it. It just didn't do it for me. So the next product is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. So I got this in the tra travel version. It retails for $10 at Ulta. The bigger version retails for $28. And what this says is it's a probiotic gel cleanser that goes deep into pores to remove impurities without stripping or over drying skin. It's got probiotics and superfoods in it that help balance and radiant. It leaves skin looking glowing and prime for the rest of the day. So what intrigued me about this was when I tried the gentle, I felt like it was too light. And with this one, I was like, okay, it says it's not going to strip my skin. And I absolutely love it. I have used up this whole little travel thing. So it's taken me about a month to use it. It does a little bit does go a long way. It does lather. So you get that kind of lather sensation but I felt like it did a really good job of cleansing my skin so I didn't have to do two different cleansing methods, but it also didn't strip it. When I got out of the shower, I didn't feel that tightness where I had to run to go put moisturizer on. I felt like it gave me that really good balance of taking off my makeup, but then also not stripping my skin. So highly would recommend this one. Um, I am going out to, out to Ulta today to actually purchase another one because I am out. So definitely recommend it definitely will be repurchasing it. So next is the Self Care Sunday Nourishing Face Mask. So this retails for $48 at Ulta. It says that it's deeply hydrating. It's quick nourishing face mask. It doubles as an overnight treatment. It gives new light to life to even the most parched, dull, and distressed skin. It's got probiotics, lactic acid, vitamin C. It's supposed to leave your skin renewed, bright, and soft. It's excellent for post-travel. It's supposed to help with that. So 
obviously it has all the great bu buzzwords that I'm looking for in a product. I have very, very parched, dehydrated skin. And so I really, really like this. Now, obviously it's called Self Care Sunday. You don't have to do it just one time a week. It does say, let me see. It doesn't say how many times to do it. It says apply two to three pumps on a clean, dry skin and leave on for 10 minutes. Um, here on here, it doesn't say anything about leaving it overnight, but on the description on the website, it does say that it doubles as an overnight treatment. I've never actually put it, left it on my skin, but I've been doing this a couple days a week. I really, really like it. Definitely, it is $48. I think it's a little pricey, but it's got this cool applicator. You don't need a ton of products, so it definitely will last you a long time. But what it does to my skin and everything, I, I definitely think it's worth the $48. So next is the face filter. This is supposed to be a blurring and moisturizing primer. This retails for $34 at Ulta. It says that it's supposed to give you a vacation worthy glow. It's most, supposed to smooth the look of redness and even your skin tone. I will be completely honest with you. I am not a primer person. I don't normally wear primer. When I saw this, what intrigued me about it is that it's supposed to, you know, hydrate and give you that healthy glow and smooth out redness. Hydration, redness, those are the two buzzwords. I don't feel like it really does anything to my skin. I feel like it does okay with hydrating and everything, but it's not something that I feel like I have to gravitate towards. It's nothing in my makeup routine that I'm like, I have to have my primer. It's okay. I feel like my skin looks just as good with makeup on. Even when I don't do this, I have to use the same amount of foundation and concealer to cover up my redness. So I don't feel like this product covers my redness or evens my redness out. It may help a little bit in the hydration department and especially with the foundation that I'm wearing today that is more of a matte. It probably helps a little bit more with that, but it's not one of those products that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so great. It's okay. It's okay. So last but not least is the Rose Glow and Get It. This is supposed to be a cooling and brightening eye balm. I'll be honest with you. This is probably initial first impressions. I don't feel like this product is worth anything. It does retail for $30 at Ulta. It's supposed to help with dry circles, puffiness, and tired looking eyes. It's got caffeine in it that's supposed to depuff, And then it says that over time, it will help with the appearance under the eyes. It has, I mean, you can see the glow there. I mean, it def definitely has a sheen and stuff like that. There is a cooling effect. So to me, I feel like this would probably be good in the summertime just because, you know, you're hot and, you know, hey, let's put some cooling stuff under the eyes that will feel good. But in the wintertime, eh, it's a little bit. There's no tingling or anything like that. It does dry down pretty quickly. Like right now, I can feel a little bit on my skin, but not much. But I don't feel like it does a great job of depuffing. I do have under eye circles, dark eye circles. I don't feel like there has been any difference. I've been using this for about six weeks now. Don't really see any difference with my dark eye circles or my puffiness. I'm gonna continue using it just because I do have it. I mean, this little bad boy, I don't even wanna put it up because, oh, it does go down. Um, this little bad boy will last you a long time. So even though it retails for $30, it, it, I mean, that's definitely worth it because there is a lot of product. I just don't know after six weeks of using it if I can even recommend it. So it could be one of those products because skincare, scare, skincare is kind of like that where, you know, you just don't know until after a couple months or you just don't know until after you stop using it and you're like, what's wrong with my face? And then you're like, oh, it did work. So I'm gonna continue playing with this right now after six weeks. I don't really see any difference, but definitely I will continue using it and maybe I'll stop using it and see if that does anything. I'll provide update um, an update in the notes. So if you're looking at this several months from now, hopefully I have an update and I'll let you guys know whether or not I feel like it's something to be purchased. But definitely if you've tried any of these products, this one specifically, Leave your comments below, let me know. Maybe it does start kicking in after two months or maybe you had a similar situation where you stopped using it and then you're like, oh my gosh, this really does work. I don't know. But overall, I do have to say, I'm really impressed with the Tula Skincare line. Um, like I mentioned before, there are a lot of other products 
that I have seen that I've kind of added to my wish list as I'm working through my old skincare products. I want to start incorporating other things in. If you tried any other of the Tula products and you would definitely recommend them, especially for somebody like me who has dry and red skin, please leave it below. I would love, love, love to know what your thoughts are of what other ones are good to try out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye.